I came into this club mainly with curiosity, and when I showed up at the hives, I saw how docile the bees were. I fell in love with them, and who can't, because I think they're cute. When I come to the hive, I actually walk away with a little more respect for life on this planet in general, just because a lot of the things the bees do I find remarkable. Before we open up the hive, we typically use a smoker to calm the bees down, and the natural ventilation of the hive will bring that smoke up all the way through the top. And you can kind of see them registering the smell and running deeper into the hive. And these in here are what we call frames, the structure upon which bees build their beeswax and then fill those uh, wax combs with honey or with baby bees, rather. It's called brood, and they either become workers or drones. We'll look at the frames, identify what's in there, whether we're seeing honey, nectar, pollen, drone brood or worker brood. If you're seeing a lot, a lot of drone brood, that's probably a bad sign. A healthy queen will be laying mostly worker brood. The big black body, it's a drone, and you can see he's next to these worker bees who are much smaller than him. So now that we're a little lower in the hive, we're a lot more likely to hit the brood nest, which is where they're raising their new bees. This side is full of nectar. You can see it glistening. And you can also see the pattern that bees lay in. They'll lay in a circle. Once the brood hatches out, they don't have to walk far to get to honey and pollen on the edges. This next frame will be great for looking at brood. Brood are the larvae that have been laid in the cells. That one's being born. Just the head is coming out. This one still hasn't broken the capping entirely. Oh, and a bee is feeding him. Do you see that? Bees have these bright red tongues and it just touched tongues with him, I'm assuming, to feed him. When we did our first inspection after the winter, we found that goldenrod, which is one of our hives, had no queen. Without a queen, the hive will die. Several months later, when this swarm showed up at commencement, it was really perfect timing because we were able to combine the swarm, which had a queen, with our queenless hive, and they accepted her. So you can imagine to the bees, it's all, it all seems like one continuous frame because there's nothing uh, dividing these boxes. And rather than just placing the box that the swarm was in right on top of goldenrod, which would have caused a lot of fighting, we just put a single sheet of newspaper right on top of one of the boxes like this and then took the swarm box and lined it up. And so to the bees, that's like two separate hives except that they can smell each other through the paper. So a few days later we came back, but when we lifted the box, all the newspaper was gone, they had chewed through it, and the queen had already started laying. We saw eggs in the cells. And now both the swarm and goldenrod are very happy. Bees, they're a part of our ecosystem and provide a lot of great services to you know, our agricultural systems and things like that. You know, I think they're just a, a joy to be with, and, and that's what keeps me coming back.